Today I am going to tell you about Agile, what it is and what it isn't. Hello everybody, my name is Anastasia. Let me start with telling a few words about myself. I've been managing projects over five years and I have delivered over 30 projects of different size and complexity. It's been years since Agile became so popular, but it still isn't clear for everybody that Agile is not a methodology, it's an ideology. You ask why? Well, the main document of Agile includes four main ideas, not techniques. They all point to ideology. But some people still believe that Agile would improve the software development over a short period of time, say a couple of months. Agile means no planning, no documentation, or it's better or worse than waterfall, or for instance, Agile equals Scrum. But what do people use in real life? Despite everything, people continue to divide project methodologies into waterfall and agile. And you can see the most important thing. People use hybrid. Some of them lean towards agile, some of them lean towards waterfall, and just about 18% mention the pure methodology. If you want to make your project flow faster and better, there are many of project management methodologies that you can use. In order to select a right methodology, you should consider several factors. There are different kinds of limitations that your project can have, like budget, timeline, or even type of the contract. One of the biggest factors that dictates your choice is the clarity and stability of project requirements. Frequent changes in requirements after the project has been started can derail your progress. In such cases, choose a dry or iterative approach because it provides an opportunity to accommodate uh, new changes even after the project has been started. If you are able to complete the set of requirements beforehand, then waterfall can be your choice. Another factor that I want to mention is what kind of the product do we have from the business perspective. A startup requires quick reaction, fast core implementation, delivering minimal viable product in a short period of time and under high pressure. The main challenge that I have found working with the enterprise product is the complexity of the existing business. The main idea here is to add new business value and make sure that nothing has been broken. With internal business support products, you have a supporting team that covers all urgent issues. So you can use these frameworks to improve your process daily. People lean towards the hybrid. What can I tell you about hybrid? Well, I like it. I'm going to share the latest successful experience with hybrid that we use for our project. The client came to us with an existing iOS product that was already on the market. They wanted the same product for Android but with additional features that come from their end users as for an upgrade. A medium-sized project had a strict budget and, most importantly, a strict deadline, which was dictated by a business strategy of the startup. The client wanted a fixed-cost project delivered by milestones. So what we decided to use for this project? Waterfall was the main approach of work with product owners. Detailed plan of each stage with delivery deadlines. Fixed first iteration for defining additional project requirements, preparing acceptance criteria and detailed risk analysis. Prioritization of backlog, filtering features for minimal viable product. Kanban as internal process. Task board, daily meetings, aim to speed up the development and avoid a downtime. Critical path as a criterion of task order code reviews for high-quality code delivery, demo after each milestone, delivering the product according to the acceptance criteria. What was the result that we eventually got? The project was delivered successfully. The project was delivered in time and budget. The whole initial scope was delivered, and even more extra features were added. Android version had higher quality than iOS product. The atmosphere in the team was kept calm and friendly. Happy product owners and happy end users! No matter how good and promising the methods looks like, there is always a dark side in it. 
I believe it's rooted in human weaknesses and mistakes. But the good news that we can fix it. The most important here to know where the good method ends and the dark force take control. Daily stand-up meeting. No one feels right in the long meetings. There is no productivity and efficiency at all. No, your meetings should be short and up to the point. What are the dark sides of such good practices as frequent delivery and active user involvement? Well, I will tell you. Constant change requests. They can kill your project. Delay the main releases and deplete the budget. The point here to know what change requests bring no value and shouldn't be implemented. The active user involvement can bring non-professional influence on the product. It can make your product heavy and non-friendly for the user. Of course, you should consider user opinions, but trust your experts while making the final decision. Frequent delivery draws attention from the core functionality, so you should plan a one- or two-day buffer for the each delivery date. The main idea that I want to express is there is no pure white and pure black. Trust your professional team and project managers on this road. In my opinion, it's very efficient to use waterfall for the first stages, like business requirement, risk analysis, or even UI UX design. When it comes to development, I choose mostly Kanban and Scrum approaches. All these tools are not hard and fast rules that you have to follow. Just like any other tool, you should find the right one for the job. It's all in your hands. You are free to experiment, try or create something new and make the most of it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with MobyDev.